Hey, Reborn family, to Sharon T. coming at you. Just to show you my babies, I managed to change their clothes and kind of comb their hair with my sore hand. It is so, so sore. But anyway, in the purple here, we have Jerrica. Jerrica is the sweetie is she the i think yeah she's do she's either the sweetie or the tracy kit but she is the twin to jarek so this is jarek and his twin sister jerica i can't remember i think he might be the tracy kit and then she's the sweetie kit but in the in the middle we have the Easton kit, and she is much bigger than my twins here. I just finished her, and she is my first Caucasian baby. I rooted her hair with human hair, and with the twins, I rooted their hair with mohair. Um... I had been saying the artist's name wrong that helped me um, and showed me how to um, do a Caucasian baby. And her name is Jacqueline Baby Dolls Daycare. That's who helped me with this doll. So it's Jacqueline Baby Dolls Daycare. Anyway, I managed to change their clothes and dress them and it was not easy believe me it was not easy but I was just sitting up here thinking well first of all let me tell you I am not in the best of moods but I just want to say something oh and I've had to prop the twins up with a towel because their heads are, um, I made them floppy where their head a tilt back. Um, with the, um, with Jocelyn, the, the Caucasian baby, I made it to where her head tilts sideways. It, you know, go from side to side. So that's why I got the towels back there to keep their head propped up so they won't flop back. But back to what I was saying, I was just thinking you know how marvelous our god is you know in creating us a brain the brain i mean you know it is just amazing so i'm sitting up here you know i've already got an injury to my left hand i mean i'm sorry left arm and hand due to my accident and then I turn around and injure my right hand freak accident of course I've got two sprains in my hand and believe me it hurts it hurts but my brain this marvelous God gave me a brain to where it kicked in to where I know how to maneuver my hand so I won't hurt myself in doing the things that I need to do around here, around the house. Apartment, rather. But, you know, I've still been managing to fix me something to eat, you know, take a shower, you know, do the necessity of things. You know, my place is not dirty. You know, I don't keep a filthy house. You know, but I'm, I'm really thankful for that. And that's just something that I just, you know, we all cannot take for granted. And we don't give God the credit that he so much deserves. Now, another subject that I would like to touch on. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera because I'm holding it with my left and my left hand goes numb due to my injury so I'm sorry if I 
kind of moved it a little bit. Mm. I'm drinking me a soda. It is 3.18 a.m. And I was just sitting up here thinking, you know, about my so-called friends. You know, you know who your friends are when something goes, when you're down and out, you know. It's like they get scared, which I never had a lot of friends in the first place. Because um, I have said I'm a loner, I'm an introverted type of person, and I really don't bother anybody. But if I call you my friend, I don't take that lightly. I'm, you're my friend, you know, either you are or you're not. But when you, I don't ask anybody for anything. So when someone calls and, you know, I'm just checking on you. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to, um, I'm in, I'm going to be in your area. So I'll stop by to you, you know, there's a chicken, you know, either it was church's chicken that I, that's close to me. There's a Burger King that's close to me. There's Kentucky Fried Chicken close to me. You know, in my area. So, you know, they ask me how I'm doing, and I'm telling them, you know, I'm I'm hanging in there. You know, my hand is really, I don't feel too good. It it rained, the temperature dropped, so that bothers my shoulder. So I mean, I just don't feel good. So in mind I'm not asking anybody for anything but how about I just pick you up something to eat so you won't have to do anything to chill out okay that will be wonderful thank you so much well where the hell is the food ain't heard nothing from them okay that's fine because you know what you, you're not obligated to do anything you're not but I didn't ask you, I didn't ask for anything you offered. It's all gravy, though. That's cool. That's cool. And then you got friends, you know, that you talk to. And then you start noticing you don't hardly, you know, you don't hardly hear from them either. And when you do, your conversation is so short. You know, they can get ghosts, too. I don't need I don't need those type of friends either. I really don't. So I don't know. I'm just I guess ranting a little bit. I'm just you know you you just know who your friends are when you you know when you're down and out. So that what's that old saying? A friend in need is a friend indeed. That's B S. Don't believe that. But anyway, reborn family, I just had to get that off my chest, and I feel better already. But those are my babies. Um, I'm working on, mm -mm, I will be, working on um, my other set of twins. They're the Saskia kids. And I just want my hand to get better so, or, you know, so I can just get started. I'm going to figure it out. But anyway, remember to build up. Let's not tear down. Don't hate. Congratulate. Share. Comment. Be nice. And I'm going to be nice to you. You know, let's show each other respect. And I'll respect you. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Anyway, Reborn families, y'all have a good one. Thanks.